Hello everyone, my name is Sayed Mohsen Hosseini. I am a PhD student at University of Western Ontario. Today we want to present our newest work, Pythia, Protein Interaction Site Prediction Using Multiple Sequence Alignments and Attention. My supervisor and co-author on this work is Professor Lucien Iliad. Here is the overview of today's talk. We start with introduction of the problem and some necessary background information. Then we will talk about some previous method which contains different feature representation and different classifiers. Then we present Pythia. We focus on input data, architecture, and datasets. Finally, we show some performance evaluation results. The building block of proteins is called amino acid. There are about 20 different amino acids that create different proteins. The primary structure of proteins is the sequence of these amino acids. Proteins also have three more different structures. Secondary structure represents the local structure of the protein within itself, which mostly contains alpha helix or beta sheets. The tertiary structure of proteins is the 3D shape of proteins. The quaternary structure of proteins contain multiple chains of proteins, which is a protein complex. The problem of protein interaction can be divided into two subcategories, namely protein-protein interaction or PPI and protein binding residue or PBR. PPI tries to find protein that interact with each other and PBR tries to find the amino acid that facilitate the interaction between the proteins. So let's talk about the previous methods. Profiling the amino acid. Feature selection could be considered as one of the main steps in computational methods. Here, we named some of the most used feature position-specific scoring matrix, or PSSM, which computed using BLAST, solvent accessibility, or RSA, relative amino acid propensity, or RAA, hydropsy index, and else. Aside from this, profiling the amino acid could be done in unsupervised approach with embeddings. Protvec introduced in 2015, which combines word to vec algorithm with trimmers. There are also SecVec, which proposed in 2019. It employs the ELM architecture. In 2021, PROSE was presented, which uses three different BioLSTM network. At the same year, multiple sequence transformer introduced. Protein interaction problem are usually considered to be a classifier problem. In computer science, classifiers are usually have two phases. The training phase is used to train the model on available data. And the second phase or testing phase is to classify the new input. In order to perform such a task, a classifier needs to be used. LSMORPH is a method presented in 2019, which utilizes the random forest classifier to predict the binding sites. Scriber, which is also introduced in 2019, uses two level of logistic regression on top of input of size 1000. It means that it has about 1000 features. 
to predict the binding site. Deep PPISP is a deep learning method that proposed in 2020. This model combines the structural information and sequence information to predict the binding sites. DLPRED is another method presented in 2019. This model employs a simpler version of LSTM, which is faster yet more accurate. Delphi introduced in 2021. This model combines CNN and a specific version of RNN called GRU to predict the binding sites. Now let's talk about the main architecture of this model, Pythia. Let's start with the input. Pythia is a protein-to-protein -protein interaction binding site prediction model that solely uses primary structure. As its input, Pythia employs the FASTA files, which can be seen in the picture, which contains only the name and the sequence of the protein. As its output, Pythia predicts a number between 0 and 1. 1 indicates that this amino acid is a binding site, and 0 means that this specific amino acid is not a binding site. The most well-known datasets that have been used in this field so far are old and outdated because there have been a lot of changes in their sequence or in the binding regions. Therefore, we felt this obligation to update them with the most recent available version of their sequence and binding regions. Aside from that, we introduced a new dataset called DSET 500. We believe this dataset to be a better dataset in comparison to existing one due to the fact that the proteins in this dataset is less similar to one another, which makes it more suitable for testing the performance of different algorithms. With respect to dataset 448, we haven't changed anything and we used it as is because there haven't been a lot of changes since 2019. In order to profile our amino acid, uh, we used multiple sequence al alignment transformer, which combines multiple sequence alignment and a specific version of attention called axial attention. MSA transformer presented in 2021 by a research group from Facebook and axial attention introduced in 2019 by a group of researchers from University of Berkeley and Google Brains. Axial attention is suitable for dataset with 2D data structure, like multiple sequence alignment. It makes it possible not only focus on the row, but also on the columns, which means that we will have the information about the sequence and we'll also have the information about the evolution of the proteins. MSA transformer is able to create embeddings for each amino acid in the sequence. As its side feature, it is able to create a contact map for each protein in an unsupervised approach. This map gives us a limited understanding about the 3D structure of proteins. For each target, we use a sliding window with the information from the sequence, which we call it local neighbors. We also use the contact map to find neighbors that are close to the target based on the 3D structure, and we call it global neighbors. Finally, we created this 2D matrix for each target and use it as an input to the final architecture. We studied different architecture like multiple dense layer, RNN, and CNN. Finally, we come up with this model that uses the self-attention which performs the best. We can see the structure and architecture of our model on the right side of this slide. Finally, let's talk about results. 
We compared our method with three state-of-the-art models, namely DLPREP, Scriber, and Delphi. We were able to outperform each and every one of these models on multiple metrics on all the data sets. And we were able to improve the performance of the model with respect to area under precision recall by up to 35%. The source code of Pythia and the data sets that have been used in this study are available in our GitHub page. We also created a web server that can be used by anyone. Thank you very much.